explained along with graphics so that it is more interesting and you are able to remember the answers also it is basically revision of the topics also but before we come over to section c if you have not subscribed to my channel just go and press the subscribe button if you like it do give me a thumbs up don't forget to share it with your friends so we begin with section c which carries four mark questions in section c you have four mark questions three questions with one internal choice so or i am discussing the questions which have internal choice also so we will be dealing with four questions this question is pretty long you have to read it carefully or remember always read the questions twice so that you give accurate answer the field of design and fabric wait i'll change it to highlighted the field of again highlighter nahi laser pointer the field of design and fabric and apparel has expanded and become so vast that it can be actually considered as two separate specializations yes it is designing for the fabric it is more like textile designing and apparel it is fashion designing these are two absolutely not absolutely these are two different specializations and reena has done a certificate program from a recognized institute in this field now she wants to open up a fashion house abhi tak it's just the background the question comes now she wants to create a unique design in a frock for a 6 year old girl explain with the help of diagram two ways of creating rhythm in it so we have to design a frock for a 6 year old and create rhythm whenever you have such questions don't forget to make a diagram these diagrams always fetch you very good marks the b part is she is designing jeans kurta for a person with heavy ma- arms in what two ways she is going to shift the emphasis away from the arms support your answers with the help of suitable diagrams to yahan par hame kya karna hai basically we have to design a frock and you have to create rhythm using two ways this is four marks the first part it carries two marks the second one it also carries two marks so each way it has one mark in jeans kurta it is with a person with heavy arms and here you have to talk of emphasis okay emphasis two ways to shift emphasis each way carries one mark so two ways for creating rhythm is repetition or gradation you can make you you can write down any other way of creating rhythm also here it is repetition gradation you can make use of radiation also okay and two ways of shifting the emphasis it is placement of decoration or use of contrasting colors uh isme bhi you can write down any other uh method of shifting the emphasis you can make use of any other also clear now i have also given you these uh diagrams which you can draw इसमें मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट इज हाउ यू रिप्रेजेंट एंड एक्सप्लेन द डायग्राम्स सो रेपिटेशन ऑफ लेस कलर एंड एम्ब्रॉयडरी आई हैव शोन इट हियर सी दिस इज रेपिटेशन आई हैव रिपीटेड इट अगेन एंड अगेन यहाँ पर भी हमने रिपीट किया है दिस इज ऑल्सो रेपिटेशन एंड हेयर ऑल्सो वी कैन मेक यूज ऑफ दिस कलर सो रेपिटेशन ऑफ लेस कलर्स एम्ब्रॉयडरी यहाँ पर इसकी जगह यू कैन ऑल्सो ड्रॉ अ लेस के यहाँ पर लेस है यहाँ पर लेस है दिस इज ऑल्सो अ लेस you can draw it like this and gradation by gradual increase or decrease in size here see this is a bigger flower this is a smaller flower this is still smaller flower here also you can draw it like this ki maine yahan par ek bada circle banaya then i make a smaller circle again i make a smaller circle again i make a smaller so this is gradation you can also write down radiation and make use of radiation wahan par you can make use of puff sleeves like this okay then two ways of shifting the emphasis from the arms here it is placement of decoration placement of decoration i have not made use of any decoration at the arms i have made use of this embroidery at the neckline and the bottom the hemline so this is the placement of decoration okay which is away from the arms uh i can also use this on the waist use of contrasting colors this can be of a contrasting colors ya fir you can say you have made use of contrasting colors here make use of contrasting color here 
you can make use of any other method also to shift the emphasis from the arms you can basically give a dupatta also a stole like this hai na if he has a uh, heavy arms then you can make use of vertical lines also so these are the different ways in which you can shift the emphasis away from the arms now we come over to question number 12 draw an organizational chart of a housekeeping department what four responsibilities will neeta performs if she joins this department here first i'll take the second part it has four marks each mark each part it carries two marks uh jo visually impaired hai uske liye you don't have to prepare the ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल चार्ट तो ड्रॉ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल चार्ट दिस आई डील विद द इन लेटर फर्स्ट वी हैव द फोर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ द हाउस कीपिंग डिपार्टमेंट फर्स्ट इज क्लीनिंग लॉन्ड्री फ्लावर अरेंजमेंट लैंडस्केप पेस्ट कंट्रोल यू कैन राइट डाउन एनी अदर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑल्सो इट्स नॉट ओनली क्लीनिंग लॉन्ड्री इसके अलावा भी आपको जो भी याद आए यू कैन राइट डाउन दैट ऑल्सो द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस इज द बेसिक डिटेल्स that cleaning of what public areas guest room supply and upkeep of laundry exchange of various linens ironing of clothes internal wahan par aapke jo toiletries rakhe hote hain having true uh, clear supply uh, meeting the demands of the guests it could be any other internal flower arrangement maintenance of external landscape or garden then you can have pest control ye sab uske housekeeping ke uh, different departments and this is the organizational chart it is given in your ncert book and this this is from your ncert book only in at the top you have executive housekeeper uske niche you have assistant housekeeper who assists the executive housekeeper and the interior decorator interior decorator deals with the interiors of the hotel the rooms and all the placement of the furniture color combinations etc then the assistant the housekeeper उसके नीचे यू हैव द हाउस कीपिंग कंट्रोल डेस्क विच बेसिकली मॉनिटर्स द नीड्स ऑफ द गेस्ट देन यू हैव फ्लोर रूपर सुपरवाइजर हु मॉनिटर्स द फ्लोर उसके नीचे रूम अटेंडेंट एंड द हाउसमैन पब्लिक एरिया सुपरवाइजर ऑब्वियसली जो काम फ्लोर सुपरवाइजर करता है पब्लिक एरिया में पब्लिक एरिया सुपरवाइजर करता है यहाँ पर यू हैव रूम अटेंडेंट एंड हेयर यू हैव हेड हाउस मैन हु लुक्स हु असिस्ट द सुपरवाइजर एंड देन फाइनली हाउस मैन जो कि सारे पब्लिक एरिया को एक्चुअली काम करता है क्लीन करता है देन यू हैव द फ्लोरिस्ट एंड द गार्डनर फ्लोरिस्ट और गार्डनर के साथ यू कैन आल्सो हैव द पर्सन हु लुक्स आफ्टर द एक्सटर्नल लैंडस्केप एंड लिन एंड यूनिफॉर्म सुपरवाइजर द हेल्पर्स द लॉन्ड द पीपल हु डू द लॉन्ड्री वॉशिंग एंड ड्राइंग दिस इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल चार्ट देन यू हैव अ चॉइस इन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व सो हर सेक्शन में यू हैव चॉइस इंटरनल चॉइस your brother has recently joined the front office department of hotel here you have to tell him about the four duties and responsibilities of each manager and supervisor so each carries two marks first we'll take up the four duties of front office manager the front office manager is responsible for managing the entire department the lobby the transport activities any requirement of the guests so this is basically a manager who deals with all the staff in the hospitality business he is the one who is responsible for scheduling the shifts the rotation of the staff members putting on their duties uh, having substitutes for the people who are on leave coordinating with the various housekeeping departments whether it is the laundry department the florist etc and help out with vip check ins the demands of the vips their security requirements coordinating with the sales department and the finance department increase in sales if you have any group or bulk check ins uh, their group group requirements it could be a marriage a banquet or a birthday they have to look about all their needs when we talk about a front office supervisor he is basically below the front office manager and he manages each shift uh, the previous in the previous one where we were talking about the manager he schedules the shifts and puts the staff on rotation and this person he manages the people who are working in the shift and keeps a track of the occupancy how how many rooms are occupied what are their needs giving the keys briefing the staff for their duties uh, 
फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर शिफ्ट कई बार क्या होता है कोई नया जना आता है वॉट आर द ड्यूटीज दे आर टू परफॉर्म कीप अ ट्रैक ऑफ द चेक इन एंड चेकआउट वॉट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स कॉलिंग ऑन द पोर्टल इफ यू हैव एनी ट्रांसपोर्ट रिक्वायरमेंट्स उसके बाद टूरिज्म में इफ दे वॉन्ट टू गो इन फॉर कंडक्टेड टूअर्स दिस इज ऑल अरेंज बाय द फ्रंट ऑफिस सुपरवाइजर and the last question of your sample paper finally we have reached the last question and it is every human being not only has rights but also responsibilities and it is true for everyone therefore as a consumer what eight responsibilities you need to be aware of we are not talking about rights here what you have to give is the responsibilities eight responsibilities four marks each responsibilities for half a mark so the first responsibility is to keep yourself updated update your knowledge keep uh information about the laws and the legislative procedures any amendments etc you should be honest in all the dealings ye nahi hai ki rasid bachane ke liye aap usko tax na dena pade you leave the receipt and say ki bhai rasid nahi le raha hu kuch kam kar do no you have to be honest in your all dealings this is your responsibility pay for all your purchases Uh, you should be free to choose from the variety available and should not just go about the pestering or the coaxing by the shopkeeper read all the information don't buy outdated products look at the mrp also read the label and the brochure carefully buy the products with standardization marks some of the products with standardization mark may be cheap but it is our responsibility look to look out for standardization mark goods keep the receipts and other relevant documents of the purchase for example warranty card guarantee card keep all the documents with you uh, for some time at least should read and understand all the terms and condition the liabilities how to use it the service charges uh, what are the extra facilities available how much do you have to pay for it for it, example it could be free insurance for 3 years and if you want uh, insurance for a longer term for example 5 to 8 years then you can have to pay for then you'll have to pay some extra amount so you should be aware of all such facilities increase the awareness about the activities if there is something wrong with you don't hesitate to take action put your grievances forward share it with people don't hesitate to take legal steps work and action in the interest of in the interest of the national and other consumers uh join and be aware of the national in national and international consumer organizations you can write down any other also they should just be relevant responsibilities so here we come over to the end of sample papers i hope at least these 13 questions along with the choices we must have covered about uh 15 16 questions they would all be clear with you the topics would have been uh thoroughly revise that is why i have explained all the questions if you have liked it do give me a thumbs up that is the biggest motivation for me uh any feedback just don't hesitate to write it down in the comment box share it with your friends subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell so that other videos which are to come later on uh, revision videos important questions you get notified as soon as i release them So see you in the next video till then bye bye and best of luck to your exams together we can and we will you have to score a full 100